I'm going to switch topics here because I noticed um, when I was reading about you to prepare for today, I noticed something I've never noticed before, which is that you had a series of works and shows called A Very Merry Unbirthday mm. and then Dobbs Adventures in Wonderland. And then recently in 2018 at, at Perrotin in Shanghai, you had a show called In Wonderland. And of course, the relationship between your work and Alice in Wonderland makes complete sense, but I had sort of never really drawn out that specific reference. So I have a few questions about that. <laughs> One is, first of all, can you speak about um, Alice in Wonderland and, 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 and how it um, impacted your work? Oh, it's, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, mostly the Walt Disney animation uh, Alice in Wonderland. So this is, uh, I, my, my influence came from not original story. So it looks like a very psychedelic and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, very, yeah, looks like very cartoonist, cartoon style of thing, like very easy to understanding. So that means like, oh, psychedelic thing is, looks like that. So that is uh, my influence from the artist, you know, story. Oh, got it. Okay. So it came from that, from the movie, the Walt yeah. Disney movie. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Well, the story and the movie both are telling, it's a narrative that's written from or told in the movie from the perspective of a young child, a little girl who's in this dreamlike psychedelic world, like you said, and you yourself also have two children. I'm wondering how their experiences, how the experiences of children generally also, um, and their approach also to image culture inform your vision. Oh, it's a, you know, children is uh, exactly the future, right? Mm -hmm. When children interested in something, this is the future. That's why very easy to understanding for the, what is the future is uh, we, we can watching to the children, mm. right? It's a uh, fortnight, what is the future, right? Looks like that. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because, but uh, uh, I have a big struggle with my kids. Yeah. Too much intense for the game. And, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, my wife is every day is a uh, big, you know, <laughs> you know, kind of upset for uh, my kids. But this is a future, right? Yeah, that's not super surprising. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that they're interested. I mean, yeah. That makes total sense to me. Yeah, yeah. They take after, they take after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so we should probably talk a little bit about your collecting practice since the, since the um, topic of the talk was meant to be art making versus art collecting. And I, have, <laughs> I haven't talked about your collection. Um, you yourself, of course, collect art and you also collect other things and art is also very broadly, um, when I say art, I'm defining it very broadly. You collect fine, so-called fine art, uh, contemporary art, modern, comic art, uh, manga, animation cells, ceramics, um, antique things, so uh, ancient artifacts, so, um, and covering just a, a broad, geographical range and time range. Um, what drives you to collect? Oh, it's a, you know, just a strange, stupid addiction. Looks like a gamble. Cool. <laughs> right? It's a, <laughs> when I was starting for the collection was, a, I saw that this is education myself because I spend a lot of money for example, I, I am not understanding, I was not understanding for the why, so my piece was over a million dollars. So cannot understand, I couldn't understand. But, you know, uh, that's why I, I was starting for the pay for the big amount of, amount of money. And uh, this artist is pay for the, you know, kind of the 700,000 dollar. And then, you know, Another two years later, this piece is the kind of this piece in the auction 
super low price. Looks like a stock option. So and then <laughs> I was so disappointed. But looks like a kind of the you know the stock option or like a gambling. And then you know I understood the mentality in the、uh, mm-hmm. collectors. One one of thing like a part of thing. And、uh, yeah, and also the when the NFT you know art was started. Mm-hmm. I also testing myself to you know buying for the PCs and、uh, this is a more strong addiction. This is a more strong、uh, the kind of the drug you know effect. So, so that's so. why yeah that's why you know I was in, you know too intense for the NFT right now. So this because this is a future art collection is change for the this system. So this is that's why you know I I I did the、uh, you know, very primitive、uh, like images. This is、uh, not evolution for the art something, but I have to go into the this world because、uh, you know more strong chemical thing in in my brain. So that's why and these、uh, you know more what makes、strong. them more addictive. What what's more addictive about them? It's a、uh, you know just you know push the button. It's a、uh, you、yeah. know using for the kind of that. And、uh, the whole time, like、uh, spend、uh, three hours, six hours, you know, just you know, buy sell, buy sell, buy sell, buy sell. Ah,、uh, you know, <laughs> kind of the project, right? It's、yeah. uh, you know, never ending. You know, people say, you know, please stop. You know, no, like、uh, nobody say. That mean like、uh, you know, finally after the you know six hours, seven hours, oh, looks like you know, everything、yeah. is gone. Yeah, and, uh, and, you forget、uh, you have a body. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so that 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 you know experience can cannot do that in a physical auction. So just、yeah. uh, just you know wearing for the black tie and、uh, you know in the room is、uh, you know mostly the main thing is、uh, just you know three four hundred people can you know can come. It's a、uh, very precious and、uh, people to mention himself herself. But、uh, you know, like just you know, maximum is just two hours, three hours is the end, and then go to dinner, right? But right. you know, in a kind of the auction in a mobile is never ending. When never we ending. go to the you know dinner, can do that, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, depends who you're with, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why. Um. Did you always collect things? Did you always collect things even when you were a child? Now is a、uh, the ceramic is a、uh, my main collection, but、uh, this is、uh, I I looking for myself why so I was very into the ceramic collection was it's kind of the go through the fire is change the world so cannot control hundred percent yeah it, it's kind of if okay so gas Gas kiln and electricity kiln is a、uh, can can variable to the control hundred percent, but、uh, it's kind of the the wood something. This is a、uh, everything is a constant.、Mm. So over the head, that is a very interesting effect. That's why you know、uh, this kind of the I don't know like、uh, chance operation the the creative is a、uh, very、uh, inspire for me. Mm. You've called you've called your collection the super flat collection, and when you showed it, it was called the super flat collection.、Um, what are the parameters for you of the super flat collection? Because I think a lot of people know of super flat in the context of specific artists and artworks and defining a type of art. Not very. It's not the definition is quite flexible, I think, but it still is used to describe a certain kind of art. What is what is super flat about your collection? Okay, this is a kind of the、uh, almost same thing is my name. So like I can say Murakami collection, but、uh, what is a Murakami thing is a super flat. That's why super flat collection is goes through my feeling, my eye, my feeling. That's a feeling. Looks like that. So basically, that filter. Yeah. Got it. Okay. You were talking also about when you were talking about how、um, NFTs are accessible and fast, and it's different from an auction, which is sort of exclusive and closed.、Um, altogether, in your work, 
you're well known for both bringing um, popular culture into a fine art context and bringing fine art into a popular culture context and creating an interchange between lots of different worlds. Um, I was wondering if you could share some thoughts about that. あのその今 NFT のことでもそのあのとっつきやすいというかハマりやすいという話をしてましたけれども村上さんはご自身がそのまあ大衆ヒップホップカルチャーとか大衆カルチャーをファイナアートの世界に持ち込んだりとかそういうファ,ファイナアートとかハイエンドのものをあの一般大衆のカルチャーに持ち込んだりということですごく知られていていろんなあの違った世界を混ぜ合わせたりすることで知られてますけれどもそのことについて話していただけますかあーはい。